Hello, boring vlogs people. How are you this fine day? Me? Oh, I'm just dandy. Uh, you know, just picking up some lunch, some Subway. Subway? I don't know why I said it weird. Because I'm a weird person, that's why. Uh, sorry. I didn't think you were judging me. <laughs> uh, no. But, yeah. So that's that's what I'm doing with my day. And, uh, I... Oh, wow. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this from this far away or not. There's this guy right here. Bam. And his car is, like, steaming or smoking or something. Hopefully it's, it's not gonna blow up. But if it does... I'm primed and ready to catch it. I mean, I don't want him to get hurt, but if it blows up, I'm going to get it on camera. And then yell out of my door. I'll open my door and be like, somebody call the police because, or the fire department, which is right down the street anyway, because I want to continue filming it. So it'll be big on YouTube. But I don't think it's smoke. I think it's just steam, probably overheating. So no explosion, probably. Um, but I heard today about this new, like, not really a drug. It's sort of like a drug. But, okay, what it does is you you inject people with this stuff. I'm not sure exactly even what it is. But what it does is it oxygenates your bloodstream without you having to breathe. So it's pretty much like you're breathing without breathing. That is the coolest thing I've ever freaking heard of. Like... The examples given where you could go to space and not have to wear a suit, I guess, because, yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Or you could go swimming and, like, not have to breathe. That, that would be the coolest thing. Like, because that's obtainable. Like, going to space, how many people have gone, like, there's, I think around 300 maybe or less than that. Like, oh, maybe more than that. I don't know, maybe 500 people have gone to space. That is so few people. Out of all the people that have ever lived, billions and billions of people that have lived, probably even trillions, who knows, I'm not sure. But of all those people, around 500 or so have gone to space. I'm not sure what the number is. I just heard the number the other day, but I don't remember it. But not that's not many people. Like, that's not obtainable for people. What is obtainable? Water. Anybody can go swimming. Anybody has the opportunity to go swim someplace. And probably has in their life. And being able to hold your breath for, I think it's, it lasts for like 15 to 30 minutes or something like that. That is awesome. That is so freaking cool. Like, oh man. I, I want to know what that sensation would be like to just stop breathing altogether. Nope, no breathing at all. And you're living. Like, that would be so weird. Like, how would, would it feel like you're out of breath? Like, what? Oh man. I, I, I don't know. Maybe you would, ha like, I feel like you would have to be unconscious because your body would normally, it would just want to breathe. And I feel like your lungs would feel really weird if it weren't, if they weren't breathing also. I don't know. It's just craziness. But I think that's one of the coolest things I've ever heard of. <laughs> Cooler than any Apple gadget that's ever been released. The ability to breathe without breathing. That's awesome. And uh, I hope that they finish developing it and make it, you know, something that people can obtain. Because that's pretty awesome. I mean, sure, I'm looking at the fun aspects of it. But it's also going to help people that can't breathe. Like, there's something lodged in their throat. Inject them with this stuff. Okay, they're alive. Now let's get this thing out of their throat. That gives us... Like, that would be that would save so many lives. And that would be so incredible. And just awesome in general. Um, but, yeah. I just... I heard about that. And I thought that was so freaking cool. Um... And I had to mention it. I just had to. And then another thing that I found out yesterday was, uh, you know, Philip DeFranco talks about Kate Upton all the time. I've seen all the pictures and videos that he shows of her. Always thought, this girl's pretty, I mean, she's, um, I don't mean to say she's pretty. She is pretty, though. But, like, she looks fairly older. Like, you know, at least 20s, almost 30s. Like, that's how old she looks. And then I found out she's 19. 19? Are you kidding me? That's insane. She does not look 19 at all. But, uh, yeah, so that was crazy. And, you know, lots of other things have happened in the world, too. VidCon is starting today, uh, which I wish I would have gotten tickets to. I, I thought about it a little while ago, looked on their website, saw the tickets were $180, and thought, uh, no, probably not going to go to that. And then once I lost my job, I was like, oh, okay, maybe, you know... I still thought I don't want to spend the money necessarily, but I'll look again, but by that time it was sold out, so 
the choice had been made for me that I was not going to spend 180 of my lacking dollars on a ticket. But I thought about going down to the Anaheim Convention Center just to, you know, hang, see if I can catch people on the way in or out or see but YouTubers somewhere. Because they're not going to just be in the convention center all day long. Uh, but I don't know if I'll end up doing that or not. I just thought that would be interesting to do with one of my days. Oh, wow. Joey Lawrence is in a new TV show. A <laughs> bus just drove by with Matt LeBlanc uh, on the front. I didn't even see what the show was called. I wasn't paying attention. I was just like, wait a minute. Joey's on a thing, on a banner. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that's really about it. I think I'm going to go home, eat my sandwich, and uh, watch some more YouTube videos. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And, uh, yeah, so long. Bye-bye. Yeah.